Hi, I'm that texting while driving PSA that still keeps you up at night, Trixie Mattel. And I'm the 10 to 15 pounds of weight you've gained over the holidays, Katya. And this is mm. the show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show. And not yours. <laughs> Nobody has gone to or been in more drag shows than us. Oh yeah, I mean, listen, I look what, 26? I'm actually 50, and I've been working in drag for 30 years. And we're gonna teach you guys how to be the right drag queen at the show and be the right audience member. Because it takes two to tango, but it takes three to have a really good time. Prior to this TV fame that we currently enjoy, before we were legends, and stars and you know. They have that show, uh, Where Are They Now? Where Were They Then? Yeah. That's this one. I was an Uber driver, just like Gia Gunn is now. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine her flipping her ponytail and be like, get in, she would get five stars, Anna would tip her, that'd be so fun. You wouldn't go anywhere, you know, you'd just stay, stay put, but that 10 to 15 minute experience yeah. would be worth it. She would have friends who like, would carry grass and like, they would move by the, the, the stationary car. What? Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my it would God, be like it was. Her. <laughs> That's the Golden like Gate Bridge. You know what we just did? We just gave her a, a post show career. A career. You're, you're welcome. welcome. Next. <laughs> One time I was at a drag show and you're gonna fucking lose it. Oh God. This girl, oh God. she was doing a song and she leaned up against the wall all sexy and she had her wig on, right? Yeah. But it wasn't really pinned in. And the wall had like a nail or something sticking out of it. So she slammed against the wall and slid down. And as she slid, by the time she got to the ground, she was snatched bald and her wig was hanging on the wall. <laughs> well, that was, a, that was a missed opportunity because that's a great That uh, could have been a reveal. reveal. Could have been a wig reveal. The beauty of drag comes in the mistakes and the humiliation. Everything goes mistakes, wrong on stage. humiliation. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm human mistake, Katya. I'm humiliation, <laughs> personified. So drag show etiquette. I love women and bachelorette parties and their energy they bring to a drag show. But it can go very wrong. People are people. And you heard awful. it here, people are people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we perform uh, now, it's all about us. But for uh, bachelorettes, it's all about them. them. And that's okay. Their day. That's okay. We're there to be gawked at rather than to be propped up. Which is really different than what we do now. <laughs> I mean, look, now this isn't a freak show and no one gawks <laughs> at us. Now it's a beauty pageant. Now tell me, what are the most humiliating moments you've experienced at a drag show performing? Oh. This video is basically viral, go look at it. Okay. It's me in San Francisco. Oh, I saw it! <laughs> Are you totally eating total shit? Eating, eating total now. shit. Oh and that stage God. is multi-level, much like my talent. <laughs> and so, I went to walk, and I took a confident step, and it was a full fall, my whole body tased. She like lost the war with gravity so, so fiercely. Her, but you know what, I did the her only- Her whole <laughs> career flashed before her eyes several times. It was times. short and sad. Yeah. I got a hold of the video footage and posted it myself. There you go. Because then you're it. making the joke yours. Yes. I did a show with somebody recently. I made a joke about her, a harmless joke. Mm. And she came out and said, I guess it shows what kind of girl you are if you need to make a career out of making fun of other people. And I'm like, girl, we all have to make fun of each other. Yeah. Well, besides, I don't think Violet talks like that, though. <laughs> she wasn't booked. <laughs> you have to be the first one to own it, because otherwise, people are going to go home and say, like, this drag queen totally oh fell. God. It was embarrassing. Yeah. I mean, I'm technically a body queen, but I also do a lot of comedy. So I think, you know, when you come from that point of view, it's, um, there's queen. more, there's more, like, um, there's She's more wiggle queen. room in terms of, like, um, making light of the thing that goes wrong. Whereas Violet, if, like, her wig came off, She'd probably just quit drag. I mean, she should. That, I mean, should. She, she's should, that close now. Should quit drag. You know. Or if the corset, one day she had one too many chicken McNuggets, mm -hmm. and that corset just beep, 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 and just, and people realize that without the corset, she's just huge, big, fat, she blubbery roll. She's gonna give birth to like a yoga ball. What have you done in a drag show you're not proud of? Oh, God, how much time do we have? from the top down, wigs to shoes have broken or fallen off. Uh, oh, so I was performing at a nightclub in Boston. I ended my number and was just uh, writhing around on stage. I did a leg kick, my shoe went, flew off and the heel hit somebody right in the eyeball. Luckily, it was your dad's new <laughs> girlfriend who was trying to police your mom anyway, and it's like, you're not ever gonna be my mom. Yeah. I shouldn't have to call you mom. <laughs> you know, just because you're my dad's you slam, piece. Slam, slam, slam piece. Slam piece. Slam piece. I mean, when we were in high school together, you were really cool. <laughs> I ran, I couldn't, I ran, I apologized and I ran. That's all you can do. If you don't have any money and you do something wrong, you just gotta run. Now we can just throw money at people and shut them up. Oh yeah, oh you got a hit in the eye with a heel? Yeah, here's $20. I've been puked on. No. Puked on and pissed on. Puked on on stage, pissed on backstage. There was a, a bachelorette outside peeing. The door kind of like hit her and she, you know, wiggled and then pissed all over my feet. 
It was great. So that brings us to like, as an audience member, what as drag performers would we like you, how, how do you play your part? It's a mutual respect as a yeah. performer and an audience. No yeah. one wants to sit at a drag show where people watch diligently. No, when you, pay that, when you pay that ticket price, you're there to work. Yeah. You're there to work. Yeah, you, this yeah, is yeah. America. It's expected you come hungry, you get a, a mug of at least beer or something, and you be a loud, rowdy audience because that's yeah. only going to make a drag queen better. And you bring tips. Yes, yes. That one dollar oh, is you, not a joke. You have, I will never forget. I worked a show, sold out, packed crowd. Wait. You know what I got paid in show pay? $26. Mm -hmm. $26. In um, Milwaukee, I did a show for two years every Wednesday for free. Yeah, that's how drag performers get started. By that 40 bucks? Unpaid internships. Like, oh, I'm yeah. making money doing my art. You don't know what that feels like until you are in it. So bring money. So bring money and, um, and bring energy. All drag queens are different types of performers. You better at least golf clap, even if you hated it. Alternatively, however, these days, there are so many drag performers out there. It might behoove them if the audience were to have a really discouraging response that might point them in another direction towards their true passion. That is actually so true. Do you know what I mean? Like uh, It's putting them down putting in a humane down. way. Yeah, if you're a lame horse, you need to be shot. With silence. With, or, or with a deafening boo. Ew. You know, rotten vegetables if you want to go old school. But or if you're at a bad burger bar, take the rotten vegetable off your burger <laughs> for that. Exactly. You know what, I don't want this burger. Can you give me a plate of rotten tomatoes? <laughs> yeah. There is also backstage etiquette. We, oh, we, girl. Okay, here's the thing, that. here's the thing. Ain't. This is very, 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 very serious. You don't steal tips from other performers. Could you imagine? No, 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 no. If you do this, if you're caught, red-handed stealing tips, you will be banned, banned. in a, a radius of like 100 miles. I worked at a bar in Wisconsin. There was a girl who pretended to be drunk, passed out, and they have her on camera. When I went and left the room, she sat up, went around and collected money out of people's purses and went back to fake sleep. So I guess that's what thieves do now. Well, because if a dry queen's laying down passed out, you're like, that's a dry queen. They're actually drunk. Oh, yeah. Proof's in the pudding. Yeah. I would rather have a, a fellow performer shit in my mouth and slap me while she calls my dad a racist than to steal one dollar from my pile of tips. What if your dad shits in your mouth and calls you a racist? That's just Thursday night, girl. Ah! Like is Thanksgiving on a Thursday this year? <laughs> it always is! It always is! It's always the third Thursday! <laughs> oh, God! Friends. And, and don't, don't forget, forget to, to subscribe, subscribe to, to Wow Presence. Presence.